On the Airbus A320, the main source of electrical power comes from the two generators, one located on each engine. Each generator provides 115 volts and 200 volts three-phase AC. The third generator is driven by the APU, located here at the rear of the aircraft. This can provide electrical power to the system whilst on the ground, or provide backup during flight. Note that any one of these three generators can supply the complete AC and DC system if required. There is also the ground power connector, shown here, located under the aircraft, just forward of the nose wheel. This means that ground power can be used to provide power to the entire system when the aircraft is on the ground without the engines or the APU running. If we now switch to a schematic view, we see that each of these power sources can be interconnected by a system of general control breakers and bus tie breakers. This means that any of the four power sources can provide power to any of the two main AC bus bars. For example, let's assume the aircraft is in flight, the system operating normally, as shown. In the event that one of the generators fail, and power to one of the AC bus bars is lost, then the remaining generator can be used to power both bus bars. Or, the APU generator can be used. During normal operation, AC Bus 1 also provides power to a third bus bar known as the AC Essential Bus. If required, the supply can be switched to AC Bus 2 by operation of the AC Essential Feed push button. In the unlikely event that all main generators fail, emergency power is automatically supplied by the emergency generator. Power for this generator comes from the hydraulic system. As well as AC power, the aircraft also has a 28 volt DC system. This is provided by two transformer rectifier units which convert the AC into DC to supply the two main DC bus bars. During normal operation, TR2 also supplies the DC battery bus and DC essential bus. The third transformer rectifier, known as the essential TR, is used to supply the DC essential bus from the emergency generator in the event of all three main generators failing. Now let's look at the two batteries. As you can see, these are charged from the DC battery bus. There are two bus bars permanently connected to the batteries, known as Hot Bus 1 and Hot Bus 2. These power the vital services, in other words, those services needed after an emergency landing or even a crash, such as the emergency lighting for example. But what about AC power in the event that all AC generation has been lost? If this happens, the system can still create AC power from the batteries. This is performed by a static inverter which transforms the DC power from battery 1 to supply the AC essential bus. And that concludes this lesson on the A320 electrical system, which we hope you found useful. The CBT software that was used for the lesson was part of a package of electrical systems that can all be used in the classroom to easily deliver lessons like the one you've just seen. The package contains electrical systems of varying levels of complexity, beginning first with a simple split bus and parallel system, before advancing to a typical DC system, a typical AC system, and finally the A320 system, which we saw earlier. 
For more information, see the details on screen.